Hello everybody and welcome to Web Factory 2010. Today we're gonna talk about Smart Editor and I'm gonna walk you through the first steps in setting up a new Smart Editor project. So let's fire up Smart Editor and start working. We're gonna create a new project and name it Smart Editor Intro. Just like this. Click OK to confirm and here is our brand new project. So let's take a closer look at our page. If we select the page from our Explorer panel, we can see in the Property Inspector the page's properties. I'm going to expand all these steps to have a better view of the properties. And the property we're most interested in is the size right now. We can see our page size is 800 by 600 pixels, but we might want it a little bit bigger because our resolution, for example, in this case is a lot bigger. So we can expand this drop-down box and we can select whatever size fits our projects. So let's select a bigger size like 1600 by 900. So you can see now the page has modified and it's a lot bigger. Our page looks a little bit plain now so we're gonna place a background XAML from the toolbox. So we're gonna head into the static symbols, choose backgrounds and select a nice background. I have here background number 6 which looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna drag it on the page and expand it to fit our page. Just position it right and drag from the corner to expand the background. Now that our application looks nice, let's make it functional too. Let's insert a numeric display control and attach a signal to it. So, let's go and find this numeric display control. I'm gonna head into the input output controls, to the output controls, and here we have the numeric display. I'm gonna put the simple one over here and place it in the middle of our page. Now if we select this numeric display we can go into the signals tab of the property inspector and we can select and attach a signal. So go into the signal name property, click on the browse button and let's select a signal from our server. First of all you gotta make sure that the demo project is running in the Web Factory Studio and that you have the Web Factory server started. So I'm gonna select the signal set point 2 for example. Click OK to select the signal and as you can see here, let's zoom in to have a better view. The set point 2 signal is displayed in our numeric display label. So let's run this project and see how everything looks. Now as you can see, our template is over here and it looks nice. You can see the dimensions of our background which fits exactly our page and our value of the set point 2 signal and we're gonna test this application using the test center. So bear with me, I'm gonna start the test center right here and we're gonna see if our signal value changes as it should. Okay, so we have our test center up and running. I'm gonna browse the server for our signals and import the set point 2 signal in our test center. So here is the set point 2, I'm gonna import it and close the browsing window and we can see here the current value is 0 just like our application displays. So I'm gonna write a value, I'm gonna write 22 and press enter to confirm. And our application works just as we expected. So let's retrace our steps. We have created a new project, we have resized the project's page, we have decorated our page with a nice looking XAML background, we have placed a control on our page and we have attached a signal to it. This is all for now, I'll meet you next time when I'll be ready to show you more great stuff in Web Factory Smart Editor.